youtube what is good let's dive right into this haircut so we're gonna start off this neck taper by creating our bald line a little below the bottom of his ear and then we'll flip that trimmer around and bald it all the way out being careful not to cause any irritation or press too hard And now to follow that up, we're going to use our foil shavers. This happens to be an Andis one. And this is just going to get it a little closer to the skin to really make that taper pop and last that much longer. And now for the next step, we're going to go lever all the way open right above that. And I would say we're going up about a finger's width here. As I'm showing you right there, a finger's width. And we're going to follow this straight across maintaining that same shape and now to get rid of that line i'm gonna go ahead and close that lever all the way and as we as we move up within this guideline i'll go ahead and open up that lever slowly until we get this line blended out and my trimmer and clippers are zero gap that's why they kind of blend so well um so yeah for any of you guys wondering and now for the next step, we're going to come in one guard lever all the way open right above that. Again, still going up about a finger's width. And I'm just coming off the shape of his head, not trying to dig into it too much since he has all the curls on top. And now to get rid of that line in between, we'll have our half guard with the lever all the way open. And if we see that open isn't doing the job, we'll close that lever as needed. And we're just working at that line, trying to see what works and what doesn't. So I went ahead and closed it halfway, or opened it halfway. And now right above that, we're gonna have our two guard with the lever all the way open. And with this guard, it's gonna be the biggest guard that we use. And right here, we're trying to debulk and create shape as well. So as you can see in the back, I'm coming off the shape of his head and flaring out. And that's because I wanna keep that, you know, that length that he has there on the back. And then right under that two guard open, I'm gonna grab my one and a half with the lever closed. And we're gonna try to blend that line out. And now we came back to our one guard and we're gonna have the lever all the way open. And we're just going to detail as needed. Trying to get this taper as blurry as we can. And you'll see me use a lot of the corner of the blade when detailing. And that's because, you know, we're working in a smaller area, especially when we do a taper. And we want to be careful not to raise it up too high. So we're just continuing to work with that one guard using the corner of that blade. And you can see as we do that, this taper starts to look a lot more polished and, um, you know, fluid throughout that blend as well. And now to blend into the length on the uh, back a little better, I'm going to do some clipper over comb. And I'm just coming in with the comb, flaring out slightly, and any hair sticking out, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of with my clipper. Not trying to take off too much here, but just trying to blend a little better. And the lever is all the way open on my clipper. And now we're going to get into the side taper. So for the side taper, we want to start right where the eyebrow ends and where the ear connects to the head. And that is where we're going to connect those two points and kind of give it that rounded shape. I find this is the best way to keep the edges dark and make that taper um, pop as well. And then we're going to follow it up with the shaver. And we're using the same exact steps as we used on the back, just in a smaller area, right? So we're coming in with that shaver. And as you could guess, we're going to go lever all the way open on our clipper. And we're still going up about a finger's width. Because we want to make sure that this taper is blurry, right? We don't want this taper super small to where from afar it doesn't look blended. 
but I'm really gonna use a lot utilize the corner of the blade on this um, area because it is smaller right and we don't want to take that taper up too high so we're coming in close here just like in the back and get, getting rid of that line in between and now we're gonna follow it up with our one guard lever all the way open doing the same exact thing and one thing I wish I would have did before I went into this one guard is debulk with the two guard that I'm coming in with right now and that's because it would have gave me a lot more canvas um or a lot cleaner canvas to work with right so I would have cleared out all that bulk and it would have been easier to make um you know that guideline so we're coming in with our two guard here coming off the shape of his head trying to blend into those curls as best as I can and now right under under it we're gonna have our one and a half with that lever all the way open and we're gonna tack the line in between right and right now we're just working trusting the process that we have set in place and trying to get this taper as clean as we can and now to help blend into the top a little better i grabbed my four guard and with this i'm trying to just you know kind of freehand it in a way come off the shape of his head to blend into the curls because I want to keep weight there, right? I don't want to cut into it. And now we're going to do some clipper over comb. And now for the part behind his ear, what a lot of barbers do is when they line up the nape area, they leave that super bushy. And I think it looks weird and it grows out weird. So I like to do some trimmer over comb before I get into it. And then I started at the bottom and went to the top. And we're going to connect those two points in the middle. And that is how we're going to get that nice round and sharp shape around the ear without you know taking it up too high and that lineup on the nape area really makes that taper pop and bring everything together and now we're going to get into the other side so for the other side we're going to do the same thing we're going to create our bald line take that down as well and now we're going to follow it up with the shaver and this is a super popular haircut in the barbershop. Um, a lot of, you know, guys nowadays, especially younger guys, we like to keep the curly hair on top. And then, you know, they want the taper and line up on the side. So if you learn how to do this haircut in the barbershop, you will make, um, you know, really good money, especially if you learn how to do it quickly as well, because this is a super popular haircut. So now we're coming in with the clipper closed. And oddly enough, a lot of people, when they first start cutting hair, they believe um, that tapers are easier. They find it easier for themselves. But for me, tapers were very hard for me to learn. Um, the only reason being is because it's such a small blend in a little area that I found it difficult to really get it blurry and not take it up too high. You know what I mean? And now we're above that um, one guard open, we're gonna have our two guard lever open. Again, flicking out, coming off the shape of his head. And under that, we're gonna have our one and a half lever open. And we're just working here, blending down at this point. And I found this side a little more difficult to blend than the other side. Um, so you'll see me do a little more detail work on this side. And now we have that one guard and we're coming back at it, trying to get it blended. And now we're going to have that four guard, like I said, coming off the shape of his head and really freehanding into those curls, trying to make this transition a little better because you can see the weight at the top of that taper that, you know, I kind of want to get out. So I'm going to do some clipper over comb here as well. And we're just trying to see what works in order to get that blended. And like I did on the other side, we're going to take down a little of the hair behind his ear so that way we can get a nice sharp line on his neck. And trust me, clients notice this, man, because if they leave the shop and they got hairs touching their ears, bro, it does not feel good. So we're going to start at the bottom and then move towards the top. And this is going to bring everything together.
and I'm detailing the back again and you can see that taper is looking super blurry and now before we get into the front lineup I want to start by lining up his arch because I believe when I line up the arches on both sides first and I make sure that those are symmetrical it makes it a lot easier for me to make sure that the front lineup is symmetrical and now for the other arch we're going to start at the top and then we're going to go to the bottom and connect those two points in the middle and that is how we're going to get that nice um, sharp arch. Being super gentle using the corner of my trimmer. Yes, these are zero gap, but not to the point where, you know, they're painful when you press hard. And now for the lineup. His lineup is super tricky because as you can see, he's thinning in his corners. So what we did is we lifted up his hair and we sectioned off a portion for the front lineup. And we're going to try our best to get this as sharp as possible. And then after we line this up, we're going to let the curls fall over it, reline it. And that's going to give the illusion that his hairline is a lot fuller than it already is. So I'm just working at that line. Now I'm going to go to the other side. And as you can see, um, you know, if you're not careful, you can really mess his hairline up. So you want to make sure that you're careful here, staying real patient. And usually I would taper that front hairline down to get a sharper line. But in this case, the client wanted to keep that as full as possible. So, you know, you got to do what the client thinks is best or says is best. And now we're going to come in with our enhancement and sharpen up those areas um, that are a little lighter than others. And this is just going to give it, you know, a lot more sharp and polished look. So we're coming in with the airbrush here. And now we're going to go to the other side and do the same thing trying to keep it as natural looking as I can and this is the part I'm talking about we're gonna take those clips out pull the hair over and it gives the illusion that the hairline is fuller than it is and now we're gonna go ahead and reline it and I believe this is looking super clean so now we're gonna clean up his facial hair as well this is mustache and goatee and then we're going to lean on back and finish it off with our razor. Now, when using the razor, you want to make sure that you stretch the skin in the opposite direction of which you're using the razor, right? And this is going to prevent um, any cuts and stuff that you don't want. So, family, this is the before. He was looking a little rough, and now he's leaving cleaned up with a nice taper into his curls. Family, if this video helped you in any way, shape, or form, make sure you leave a like and a comment. And if your clients aren't leaving the shop feeling like this, what are you doing? But like always, I will catch y'all next time.